Is it Lego? Is it Lego? Is it Lego? Is it Lego? Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Rick's Are You Home for Vintage Lego. We got a 24 year old Lego set. Yes, from 1998. This is a Scala, Scala, however you want to say it. I think it's supposed to be Scala. I say Scala. Uh, let's get over it. All right. So <laughs> the only thing worse than Scala is a uh, uh, talking about it, I should say. The only thing worse than talking about Scala is, I guess, watching a video on it. And the only thing worse than that um, is talking about it a second time because your microphone didn't work. So that's just typical here. Uh, you don't need to know about all that. But anyway, so this one, set 3116, is Cool Ice Cream. Wait, I always get the name mixed up. I got it. Oh, cool Ice Cream Cafe. Ah, really nice name. So in the uh, world of girl Lego sets they seem to always eat like food that's bad for you if you eat it in mass quantities i will say it's the healthy ice cream i don't know <laughs> but uh, yeah so this is one of those sets i picked up from barn bricks he included it with my bricklink order check out barn bricks he's got a lot of vintage lego he was nice enough to send this uh, to me because he knows i love this kind of craziness and you, you know as being an, an, an adult in the 90s when this set would have come out. I can't believe I was 30 years old when this set came. It seems like so long ago. I guess I must be really old. Uh, but yeah, this thing... <laughs> uh, this is in an era when Lego was doing pretty bad. And what, from my memory of the 90s, like I remember seeing stuff like this in stores. I don't know if I saw this particular set, but I remember sets like this in Belleville and all the other weird themes that Lego did uh, that just didn't seem to have lasting appeal other than people that like um, bizarre type things like this, like me. <laughs> but this thing was a bad idea. Not Scala originally, but the second life of Scala was a bad idea because they used this uh, flower design for the studs. Now the underside is a regular stud, and I think they still connect. They just don't have all the functionality of a regular brick, like from the underside, it looks the same, but on this, it's these flower things. And like Andrea here, she can, her foot can fit in between a flower. So you're very limited on the placement of the minifigure uh, and other bricks and plates on the, uh, uh oh, don't fall over, Andrea. Uh oh. But so, in, yeah, so. I didn't like that, and I think that's one of the things that a lot of people probably didn't like because it just doesn't look like Lego. And I'm sure a lot of these types of elements are things that are geniuses that like to sort Lego probably throw out <laughs> because, oh, that didn't look like Lego. That's not Lego. Somebody's like, oh, that's not Lego. Even though it's got Lego on the logo, <laughs> uh, there's very few pieces in here that look like traditional Lego pieces. I mean, we got a two by three slope that's got a sticker on it, a panel that's got a sticker on it. You got some cones. Uh, this tabletop is probably a regular Lego piece, but in the goblet, but most everything else is special. I mean, the ice cream, but the weird colors of the ice creams that they chose for this, it's like salmon, salmon ice cream in this lime color. I guess it's sherbet. We could say it's sherbet orange sherbet and lime sherbet, uh, but that green's just a really, 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 really weird color. Uh, so my minifigure, Andrea, she's uh, uh, not big like a Barbie. There's, it's, it's like, it make a, it's giant compared to a minifigure, but small compared to a Barbie. Mine, uh, she's having a bad hair day. I, cause this is used and it's been well loved by somebody. I actually thought about trying shampoo and conditioner <laughs> to see if I could fix the hair, uh, but uh, I couldn't. I, I didn't, I mean. But anyway, the uh, outfit, she's got this uh, pink and blue and green and yellow in her skirt. And I just remember pink being uh, everywhere. It seemed like in the 90s, especially in the early 90s, you saw a lot of pinks and blues and things, that, that pastel kind of color. So maybe that's why they use stuff like that and these weird colors. I mean, there's just awful looking color. This is, but it, 
it's like going back and looking at something from the 70s and seeing the weird colors and you're like oh that's awful but that's what they did so this is from the 90s and yes they did do a lot of weird things in the 90s not just lego i'm talking about people in general with their interior decorating but the salmon this orange these contrasting colors it's very weird uh, to look at so some of the special pieces i have on this uh, you got the the cups or the glasses and the um the bottle i like to think of them as beer and wine but that's not really what they are <laughs> you got a lot of stickers on these things you got the weird colors Again, the squish cricket green for the menu and for the ice cream. <laughs> and then the way these panel panels connect and everything, it's just it's just a lot of non-Lego looking pieces. It has the money that like the pirates would have had. The gold coins are in uh, this little chest. This is back in a time when people still use cash a lot more common, especially at restaurants. It was very unusual in this time period to use a credit card at a fast food restaurant or a little restaurant like this, a little ice cream parlor. Most everybody use cash. In the refrigerator uh, has ice cream in a box and it's got a milk jug in there and it's got a little grate that's for the shelf. And one of the most interesting pieces in this is the, the chrome grate that's for the drain of the ice cream machine. It's one of those pieces when you look at it, it doesn't look like a Lego piece. It does have the Lego logo on it. It says Lego Group on one side of it. But it's one of those things, if people were quickly sorting through things, they might think, oh, that's not Lego. Just like these benches, people might think, oh, that's not, not Lego. Or uh, any of a number of things in this. Uh, this is not one of those sets you're going to piece together. It would be very difficult. Even though it's only 68 pieces, again, with all the non-standard parts, and the odd colors of parts. I don't know the exclusive exclusivity of some of these, but even this orange tabletop is probably not in a lot of sets. And speaking of that, so this is a set that Barn Bricks was probably trying to make sure it was complete. And he got everything except for these two red knobs that go at the top. Now this is kind of a plasticky uh, roof piece that connects with little flower pins. But the top ones, he, he didn't find the right ones, he, so he, he substituted the red ones. He had a little note in there that says, these are supposed to be salmon, and they are red. So I have done the right thing, <laughs> or the impossible thing, is try to find somebody selling them. Uh, I did find somebody in another country, in like Czech Republic, or so, I don't know where they're coming from, but and then having to add other things to the order. It wasn't, it's just not cheap. So trying to piece together a Scala or even a Belleville set because of all the exclusive parts is just, it's really, really, really hard. And it can be very expensive, even a smaller set like this. And I do say small, even though it makes a pretty big setup. But um, yeah, <laughs> oh, with all the special pieces. All right, so one thing, a couple of things, uh, the box very colorful box the scala has a lot of different colors i don't think that it's a bad design for the box i like the colorful box i also like what they do on most of the scala sets that i've built that had more than just a person in them it shows uh like they just got hit by a tornado or a hurricane in the, on the front <laughs> so try to build that yeah, so I, I do like that they do that and then you go through and build it. It's kind of almost like telling a story similar to the way Fabulan did. Uh, but step-by-step -step pictures. And then on the back it shows nothing that's in the set. We got all these people and the Dalmatian. They are not in uh, this set. This kind of gives you also a glimpse looking at the cover. How things would have been like some of the flowers and stuff would have been on a sprue. Um, that's interesting, but that's not all you get with that set. You get this Deco magazine. It's not a magazine. It's, it's actually um, a little booklet of punch outs. Oh, look, we got a white Pac-Man. I think these are things that you can draw on or color, or I don't know what they're 
I really don't know what the purpose of all this is for, but we got this little, um, yeah, I think you are supposed to draw them. So this little punch out that looks like an airplane is actually a little box that you decorate. So it shows how you would decorate it there. Oh, that's what deco means. We got these little money things there. <laughs> so I think, yeah, I don't know what, even, it's hard to know what a lot of this stuff is for. Very interesting. I don't, I don't know what the Pac-Man is. It looks like it has something to do with a glass. I don't know, but you, this, this one, the stuff has not been punched out, so that's good finding that. And I wonder how many girls actually use this deco book, punched the things out, colored them, marked them up, and did what Lego actually intended to do. <laughs> but I'm glad whoever had this one saved it so that I could have it and not do that too. <laughs> But that is uh, a Scala set from 1998. I uh, I will I was I had thought about waiting until the salmon balls came <laughs> to do the video, but I got to get this off my table. So you'll see in a upcoming haul in a few weeks probably these little balls. <laughs> Again, an, another piece that might not look like Lego uh, when you see it. So I've been saying this for ten years doing this channel. When you're sorting pieces, don't immediately assume, like you got a bulk lot, don't assume that something's not Lego just because you don't recognize it. Yes, there are things that even I probably could be tempted to throw to the side or even throw away because I think it's not Lego. The earliest example of something I know I got rid of that I shouldn't have was some balloons from Winnie the Pooh sets. I thought they were mega blocks or, or I thought they were even some other kind of toy. And they were from sets that I bought. So that, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't even from a bulk lot. So when I see stuff like this and all the unusual pieces, um, yeah, I, I just, it always makes me give you that public service announcement to uh, don't, throw it away until you're 100% sure that it's not Lego because there's always the possibility that it could and if it's something like this it could be something that's actually worth a lot of money if money is your thing so anyway I'm going to go thank you for watching this I'm going to put all this creepy stuff back in a box I love this kind of stuff I don't like the clutch power Someone's calling Joseph Olson. Don't answer it, Joseph Olson. Someone's calling Joseph Olson. Don't answer it, Joseph Olson. Someone's calling Joseph Olson. Don't answer it, Joseph Olson.